but that should do it. Alrighty. Well, hello there. Here we are on the 1st of July, 2017. No. <laughs> How about here we are on July 1st, 2019 at 1017 p.m. up here in northeastern Ohio. And we have Jupiter and four of its moons there. I believe it's Io that's out in front, then Jupiter. We should have Europa, Ganymede, and then Callisto way back in the in the rear there. And Jupiter's probably up about 23 degrees above the horizon. And so far, I can't see Saturn at all, so it's either behind the trees or I don't know where it's hiding. But anyway, we're going to change up uh, settings so we can get Jupiter in better. I'll be right back. this okay so there we go there's our Jupiter our band one and uh, it doesn't look like the great red spot is showing right now but that's okay and we'll probably do a crop zoom here once we edit it but I'm going to go take a walk and see if I can try to find Saturn so I shall be right back. Well, that's quite disappointing. I can't find Saturn. I can't see it by eye. And it should be visible. It's uh, up nine degrees above the horizon over here in the southeast. And I don't even see a twinkle through any tree branches. So I don't know where it is. Doggone it. Well, that's more than disappointing. Okay, I'm going to move us so I can uh, maybe try to get Antares. So it's going to screw up the alignment here, but... Alrighty, there we go. Um, few fireworks over there. They're in the direction we're facing too. Just some neighbors having fun. Okay, I tried to go to Antares, but my alignment was not up to snuff. So we'll have to do it the hard way. There we go. Oh, Antares looks really colorful tonight, doesn't it? Well, I think that's the best I'm going to be able to get Antares in. But it's pretty close to Jupiter. Probably about its uh, 5 o'clock position. And still no sign of Saturn. I don't know what's up here. I suppose there could be clouds over there that I can't see, but... But it's very disappointing. Doggone it. And maybe I'll take some pictures here and try to overlay onto the video. If not, well, anyway. Alrighty. Well, as you can tell, we found the ring one up there. Good old Saturn. And I must have a really bad southeast sky because I can barely see a faint light in that direction. I just took a chance on the uh, 
on the alignment from Jupiter to have it uh, slew down to Saturn and up the ISO and there was a speck of light. Now it seems to be coming in a hair better than it did the other night. And I'm guessing it's up about, uh, oh, 11, 12 degrees above the horizon now. And even with the ISO up all the way, I couldn't see, uh, not Saturn, I couldn't see Titan. But there, so we have three of them tonight. The ring one, the band one, and the orange one. <laughs> and I may try some stacked images. Um, it's difficult for me because I am on a Mac. So the programs available are very limited. And uh, I did try a virtual machine and use the Registax and Auto Stark, whatever it's called, PIP and all that stuff. But last time I did it, uh, it crashed my Mac, so, and I have no clue what I'm doing with those, uh, applications, and Windows, it's just, uh, <laughs> it's too much for me anymore, I'm so used to being on the Mac platform, but I will give it a go, I did, uh, I have a few photographs from a couple nights ago of Jupiter, and, uh, I did some stacking in that Linkies or whatever it's called um, program. It's the only program I could find for a Mac that can stack images and videos for astrophotography. So I don't know. We'll give it a go. If nothing shows up on the video, you know I didn't have luck. <laughs> or I was pulling my hair out. Anyway, so all four of us are going to wish you all a great day night and a wonderful week ahead here. Y'all take care now. Bye. Oh, it's 10.56 p.m. now.